Hello YouTube and welcome fellow knife enthusiast. Today, today we got a couple Sativian knives and man these things are pretty freaking awesome. The first one is one you probably have seen on YouTube quite a bit. The Sativian ST132 folding knife. Out Door hiking and camping in brown. This is going to be brown micarta. And uh, it's the only thing that came in the box. No microfiber cloth or nothing like that. But the camera with focus. It's really nice looking micarta on here. Really impressed. You even get a Micarta backspacer, spot for your lanyard if you so choose. Now they have this in G10, a couple different colors of the Micarta, and uh, the Spidey Flick is kind of hard for me with this. I mean, it's easy if you just get the tip of your finger in there. They give you enough of a full foyer or blood groove to get it into. Really like the blade finish on this, so. Definitely like a tumbled finish. This is in D2. Deep carry pocket clip. This feels really, really good in the hand. Immediately falls back on the detent ball. And uh, absolutely drop shut. And light switch it or push button very very easy deployment there's not a sharp edge anywhere on this knife besides a blade which is just how you want a knife but very very comfortable extremely comfortable in the hand really easy to disengage the lock up This has a liner lock. And the next one is going to be the one that I've carried in my pocket every day since I got it from eBay. Uh, both of these you can find on eBay for, I think, $29. This is a Sativian S. T131 folding knife, camping, hiking, fishing, and brown micarta. This thing is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing action on it. Just so, so easy to deploy it. The spidey flick on it is just so satisfying. No matter where you hit it at on that foyer, it just flies open of course you have a spidey flick or the spidey flick or the light switch push button but this has like the most satisfying spidey flick immediately falls on the detent ball or detent track and I, it's just so smooth and fluid. I mean, both these knives are extremely, extremely smooth. I like the Spidey Flick on this one so much, and it's so easy to do. I, I really think I could do away with the flipper on this one. Got nice, nice jipping on the top. Pretty... Pretty thin blade, too. Really thin. Uh, of course, I did put a mirrored edge on this. So it looks really good with the mirrored edge. Extremely, extremely sharp. Make sure and hit that subscribe button. But just... So, so sharp. 
it took a hell of a freaking edge. And it seemed like just by sharpening it with my diamond stones, it uh, the D2 feels really hard. Like uh, I didn't have as much shavings left as I do from other D2 that I've sharpened. So it seemed a lot sharper. Here's a factory edge on this one. Still really freaking sharp from the factory. Not quite as sharp as the one I put the mirrored edge on, but still, for a factory edge, that is really sharp. Awesome action. I highly, highly prefer this one, though. Highly recommend this one. If you guys don't have this one, I'd immediately go to eBay. Or not eBay, but... I. Uh, Amazon and pick this baby up. Uh, you can get a really good deal. 29 bucks for D2 ball bearings. Just action like that. Drop shut. Just man, it feels like it's on butter. And then it's a pretty good one too. But if uh if you only want one of them. And you can't decide which one, I'd highly, highly recommend this one here. The ST131. And then I picked up another Sativian knife that I've been wanting for a long time. Oh yeah, this one has a real satisfying reverse flick. Which is always a plus with me when... You can like reverse spidey flick a knife. It's just fun. You're in the self-defense posture immediately. So. And it's so easy to deploy. I can easily deploy it with my left hand. And I am absolutely horrible with my left hand. That's kind of how I test the detent of a knife is uh, with my left hand. If I can deploy it with my left finger, then it has a pretty good detent. If I can and I fail it, and I look like an idiot, then I know it doesn't have the best D10 in the world. But this one is so easy to deploy. I can even deploy it with this finger, your ring finger, just so easily. Drop shut. And I can even reverse flick this one with my left hand. I don't know if I can reverse flick any other knife with my left hand. Maybe a couple, but... Well, got to give yourself enough room to be able to. But anyways, uh, if you guys help me get to 100 subscribers, when I reach 100 subscribers, I'll give away this Sativian that I put a mirrored edge on. So... To get entered into this, you'll have to be subscribed, help me hit 100, and then uh, when I hit 100, I'll have another video that will tell you how to uh, to enter in the drawing, and I'll just do a drawing. Uh, so, 100 subscribers, I'll give this away, maybe I'll do another Giveaway at like 250, then 500, and we'll see how it goes. So, if you guys can help me get to 100 subscribers, then we'll have a giveaway for this Sativian with a mirrored edge. Extremely sharp and slicey. So, let's get to the next one. The next one's going to be the... Sativian ST243 Damascus Steel Hunting and Outdoor Use in Green. Now, I've been wanting this one for quite a while, and I seen it on Amazon or eBay. Maybe it was it was eBay I got this on. But I really wanted the one in green, 
you don't see a whole lot uh, green knives anodized in the titanium for some reason. You see a lot of other colors, but you don't see a whole lot of the green. And then this carbon fiber and green is just freaking awesome looking. I absolutely love this. Really, really fancy looking knife. It's nothing I would carry every day, but it's definitely something I would pick up for the knife collection. You got a milled pocket clip, titanium pocket clip, titanium backspacer. Uh, I don't know if it's titanium liners or not. Might be steel liners. Definitely looks like a steel liner because they don't have the lock bar insert. If it's titanium, they got to put a lock bar insert on it. But I know this is anodized titanium. Beautiful, beautiful Damascus blade. Uh, they actually don't call this Damascus. They call it, uh, well, it's a kind of Damascus. The hell do they call it? I forget now. But just. Beautiful mirrored finish on there. This is probably the nicest looking Damascus I have in the collection right now. Just beautiful. And this one is definitely a meat cleaver. Uh, the lockup, it doesn't hurt or it's not painful, but uh, actually has pretty... Really nice lockup, but uh, just when you disengage it, that's pretty thin, and it doesn't really stick up much. But it still disengages very easily. It's a little shake shutty. Uh, the flipper tab is really small and minimal on this. You almost don't even notice it. Flings right open. I, d I haven't felt it yet. Let's see if we can push button it. Maybe that will. Nope. It just zips right out. Now, it's definitely a meat cleaver, though. Uh, it wants to take a chunk of my finger off. When you disengage it, if you hold it down here, which the blade comes down right on your finger. But every time it's done it to me so far, I've caught it on my finger now. But if your finger's down a little bit more, you, you miss your finger now, you'll... Get your finger right behind it. So when you disengage it, you want to do it up high, and there's still nothing for it to catch on. So you just got to be careful when you disengage this. Really small knife. You guys want to see a couple knife comparisons just so you know how big the Sativians are. These two Sativians are about the same same size. Man, you can really see the reflection on that mirrored edge. But they're about the same size. Then you got the Ontario Wrap Model 1. It's a little bit bigger, not much. Ontario Wrap Model 2. You can see it's a lot smaller. It's even, it's about the same exact size as this Sativian. So really close. Yeah, I would say they're about the same exact size. And then we got my favorite EDC knife, the QSP Penguin. And you can see them two are about the same exact size. And how about a Gonzo? One that a lot of people have. The FH-11. And then the FH-11 small. So you can see it's bigger than the Gonzo FH-11. This is about the same size. And 
Let's see how slicey this one is. Has one hell of a recurve. I'll tell you what, I'll probably never use this enough to have to sharpen it. But I definitely wouldn't want to have to. And it's not really that sharp. top part is a mirrored edge would look nice on there I am just really intimidated by recurves beautiful blade on there though so happy to add that to the collection so let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite Always make sure to like, subscribe, always leave comments. I try to respond to everybody's comments. Let me know which one of these is your favorite. Without a doubt, it's going to be the ST131. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to be entered in the drawing to win this at 100 subscribers. And have an awesome day.